So let's unbox this bakeware organizer. So let's see here. All right. There we go. That's only an end protector. You can pull those off. No reasons to have those on there. All right. trays. Instructions. First, we need to connect these. I'm seeing. down to the cabinet and these are for screwing these down to this bracket first. So we're going to do that first. These little knurled screw nuts they have here. No washers. And you put the Allen key in here and you tighten it up. Well engineered. That's one. And this is, uh, has four of these that we're going to put on here. Two, that's three, that one. and then the last one, then I'll tighten them all up. Actually, if you go to put it on backwards, it won't let you. It stops. Because you end up cross-threading it. And that doesn't work very well. Okay. You can tighten up any side. It doesn't really matter. It falls right into its own spot. There's no real adjustment on these. Just tighten them up. Make sure they're tight because once you put the rack in, and if they're not tight, and don't over tighten them, but make sure they're tight. Because once you put the rack in and they're not tight, then you're gonna have to take the whole thing out. That's a pain. Double check. Make sure I did all of them. All right. That is tight. Which direction we're going? It's this side. So, see, these are the brackets that screw down into the cabinet, and these are the clips that you want to screw this to. Perfect. That's why they didn't align properly. Glad we figured that out. And these are Phillips. Just going to grab my. Phillips driver, and I'm just going to start them, I'm not going to drive them all the way yet. And I like using these numbers, number two Phillips tips with these six inch long shafts. It makes life so much easier when you're assembling things like this. Just think about getting down in there with a one inch or a two inch uh, driver 
It's just doesn't work well. I'm going to tighten them up. This is pre-assembly before we put it inside the cabinet. Okay. Of course they give you a couple of extras. And the last that I need now are the screws to put it in the cabinet. Works for me. So let's go put it in the cabinet. So now I'm going to slide this organizer in. Like so. I'm going to get it centered. That should be perfect right there. Okay. Let me grab a screw. And let's put the first screw in there. I'm just starting the screw. I'm not going to run it all the way down. So we can still adjust a little bit. I think that's a good spot. I'm going to lock these two in and do the back one. The back ones are going to be hard for me to show you. But basically, you see what you have there. Very nice. So, as you'll see here, put my pans in there. And that slides right in there. Close the door. Hold on. Thanks for watching.